Abes. Praise our God, everyone. Praise the right hand as we repeat the affirmation of faith. As we give our offerings tonight, we are believing God for job or better jobs, raises and bonuses, promotions and benefits, deals and better deals, houses and lands, cars and limousines, checks in the mail, debts demolished, bills paid off, sicknesses to miraculously disappear, and the return of everything that the devil has taken from us. One more time. And everything that the devil has taken. And we seal you with a hallelujah. Receive the King Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Just lift your hands in the house. Give God praise in the house, somebody. Just give God praise in the house, somebody. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight we are about to sow in worship. And what about sowing the spirit? There are three levels of sowing. We sow in the flesh. We sow to the soul. And we sow to the spirit. Just ask your neighbor, which one you sow in tonight? Praise the name of Jesus. You know, the promise of God is still remain unbroken. Give God praise in the house tonight. And if you don't believe me, just turn to Genesis 28, 15, and 16. Give God praise in the house, somebody. Give God praise in the house, somebody. The song that we're about to start tonight is say, Search all over, couldn't find nobody. Praise the name of Jesus. You look high and low. Oh God, there is no one else you can find when you need somebody. Is Jesus is there. When you turn to the left, is Jesus is there. When you turn to the right, is Jesus is there. When you look beside you, is Jesus is there. Somebody open your mouth and give God praise in the house. Glory to God. He said, nobody stronger, wiser, big enough. Say to your neighbor, nobody stronger, wiser, big enough. Give God praise in the house, somebody. Give God praise in the house, somebody. It's worthy to be praised. Somebody give the Lord a praise tonight. Come on, somebody. Nobody 
Come on, worshipers. My God, everybody stand. Those who are seated, stand at this moment. As we receive the word from our general overseer, Bishop Winston Royal Baker, care of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody greater. His name is Jesus Christ. Somebody clap your hands and praise the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Come on, worshipers. Come on, praisers. Somebody lift Jesus higher today. Come on, somebody. Give God a praise in here. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same. Our God is worthy to be praised. Reach your neighbor and say, hello, neighbor. My good neighbor. Glad to see you tonight. You're at the right place at the right time for your miracle. Come on and smile and say hello, neighbor. My good neighbor. Glad to see you. You're standing in a miracle zone. When you're in a present like this, expect anything. Clap your hands and praise the name of the Lord. For he is good. I wonder if somebody's when the system is off, if somebody is playing with the system. Because if the system is good now when I'm preaching and I go home, we come back to service and the system have to fix again. That means somebody is playing with the system. Huh? Somebody just send the blood on that piece right now. In the name of Jesus. We are professionals. Let's stay in the professional level. Somebody clap your hands and give God one more praise in here. Come on, give the Lord one more praise in this house. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Gl glory to God. Glad to see you tonight, warriors. One more time in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to say to everyone who has been expressing their sympathy, and your condolences and the person of my brother. I just want to say thank you. Hundreds of messages, voice notes. Thank you. We appreciate your encouragement. Thank you. Hallelujah. Somebody wave your hands and give God a praise in here. Because we are not supermen. We are sons of God. And we have wisdom. We have wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We are not fools. Somebody wave your hands and give God a praise in here. Somebody wave your hands and tell the Lord Jesus, thank you. Hallelujah to God. God is a good God. Is there any worshiper in this house tonight? Say something. Say something. Hallelujah. Touch two people and tell them, wisdom built her house, but fools destroy it. Wisdom built her house. But fools broke it down. We have the wisdom of God. Clap your hands and praise God. Not men's wisdom, but the wisdom that comes from the throne of God. Hallelujah. God is a good God. So, so he's our encourager. He braced us. Hallelujah. We are the warriors in here. We can't do it on our own. But he give us hinds feet to run to troop and to leap. Oh, Shia. Somebody said, leap. 
My God. And when you leap, you move from the valley to the mountain. Yes, when you leap, the walls that are there is to, to block you. Where is the worshiper? Somebody. Tell somebody, he anoints me to leap. Leap over. Leap over everything the enemy intend what he intends to break you god he use it to make you oh shall. where is the believers what the enemy think will be a discouragement is just the very thing that god used to prove that he's with you somebody clap your hands and praise him tonight clap your hands and lift him up tonight now King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship. God is a good God. Somebody say, yes, he is. I want you to know that the truck, my God from Zion, throw your head back and say, the truck is here. Clap your hands and choir sit. Sweet choir sit. Let us look at the truck. Somebody say, the truck is here. Oh, yes. The truck is here. Take a look at the chalk, it's here. The chalk is here. The chalk is here. Ready. 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 My God. Yes. My God. Ready. Watch God. My God. Watch God. Watch God work it out.
somebody open your mouth and give God a praise. says go. Come on somebody. Get ready. God says go. We're going for the last souls. Where are the warriors in here that, that I need one soul to carry with me? Come on warriors. I don't know about you, you know, but I know my purpose. I'm here to bring souls to the kingdom of God. We are the warriors in here that, that decide there must be stars in your crown. Warriors, you ready? We're going in the highway. We're going in the byways. We're going in the nook and the crack. We're going to beat them to come. We're going in the Hedges. Where is the warriors in here? Slap your neighbor, your neighbor. If you are not kingdom minded, you are not gonna feel the joy of the Lord tonight. My God. If you are not in the will of God, you can't feel good tonight. Where is the worshippers? Clap your hands and celebrate it. turn to four people and tell them the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. God have secrets. Mm. Where are the warriors in here? Tell me but Jesus have secrets and only those who fear him he will whisper it to somebody praise him to him. Yes. Let's go to the book of Acts. The book of Acts. Actions. Action of the Holy Ghost. Acts of the Apostles. Acts of the Church. Acts of Peter. Paul. Acts of Philip. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Let's take it from verse 1 to verse 3. Acts chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. When you're there, just shout a glory. The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and teach. Until the day in which he was taken up after, after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. To whom also, here we are, here we are, here we are, verse 3, somebody say verse 3. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion. By many infallible proofs, being seen of them how many days? Forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Let us pray. Eternal Father, our Creator, God that declare, let there be light, and there was light. Great. 
Lord of house, Lord of Shabbat, Lord of armies, here we are in your house tonight. Please speak to us one more time. Let your divine will be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Sit upon me, Holy Spirit. Let your anointing flow. Please arise and give victory to the church. Speak to your people, Holy Spirit. Let all your enemies be scattered. We thank you for victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody clap your hands and open your mouth and praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Before you take your seat, I want you to turn to four people, look them in the eyes and say, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. The secret of the Lord, the secret of the Lord, the secret of the Lord, the Lord have secrets. The secret of the Lord, the secret of the Lord. The secrets of the Lord. Clap your hands and praise him. You may be seated in the presence of the most high God. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you a little bit. Because the Bible speaks of different mysteries and a mystery is a hidden secret Jesus said to his disciples that it is not given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God but you that are within it is given to so the mystery, the hidden secrets of God is not for them that are on the outside, but them that are on the inside. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit because here we see that Luke, the doctor, the physician, he was not one of the twelve. He came in after they said that Luke became a born again Christian when Paul and Silas was in Macedonia. That he got a vision. He saw a man and the man in the vision called, come. And help us over here in Macedonia. It is called the Macedonian call. And out of that vision, there came the church of Philippi. Philippi was one of the most powerful church in the first century. It is said that when Paul said, God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory, that it was to the church of Philippi. Paul had never spoken like that to no other church. But because these people, these believers was, was so special, God says things to them that he said to nobody else in the New Testament. Oh, Jesus, the church of Philippi, we realize that the woman named Lydia, it blows our mind because it was a man that Paul saw in the vision. And the man said, come and help us over here. But when he reached, he didn't see a man. It was a woman. So you got to be careful now because when God is giving direction, he will not lay it out what's next and what's next. And no, no, no. He will not tell you what will happen a year later. He don't give you the end brother. He doesn't give you the whole detail. A man, he saw in the vision, but there was a woman. Come on, somebody. God. 
And so we see here how God moved by his spirit. We realize now that Luke was added at Macedonia. And you can find that in Acts chapter 13, chapter 14, you realize that the writer changed his style of writing. Because before chapter 14, Luke said they. But after chapter 13, Luke said us. So now the writer is among them. He is no more speaking of uh, somebody else's testimony. But now he's speaking of personal experience. And this writer, the book of Luke, oh God, he's a special apostle. It's different uh, because when we look at the, the, uh, the 12, the 12, the 12, these men were common men. The twelve, uh, the twelve, uh, we realize Jesus uh, saw them on the way preaching. And Jesus would say to, to Matthew, come Levi, come follow me. He will speak to Peter uh, and to, to Nathaniel that uh, there is no guile in you. But when it comes on to Luke, Luke carries a mind. Oh, Shia. He's more educated than the rest. Hallelujah to God. And so he wrote the book of Luke. He finished the book of Luke. Oh, Lord Jesus, with Jesus leaving the earth. He left off the book of Luke. And let us realize that Jesus led his apostles to the mount called Olives. And he was taken up in the cloud. And two men were there in white apparel. And says to these men, the eleven, that why you men of Galilee gazing up into heaven. This same Jesus that have been taken up shall come back in like manner and so he end the book of Luke but notice now if he finish writing there oh Jesus the church would find itself in trouble because the, the person who he wrote to would like to know after Jesus went up what take place after oh jesus and so luke decide he's not finishing right there luke decide he's gonna write another book and so it is the book of acts and if you notice verse one he said the farmer three tis have i made known to you O Theophilus so he said I left off with Jesus going up but I need you to know that after he went up something took place and I would like you to know he said O Theophilus I'll let you know all the things that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day he was taken up after that through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he have chosen in other words, you got to understand this, that, that in the old covenant, God rose up Moses. And Moses gave commandments because he was chosen by Jehovah God. He was up on the mountain for 40 days as we run on the 40 he was up there with God for 40 days nobody saw him he was out of sight but he was in the secret place of the most high and when Moses came out of God's presence he came with the book of the law he came with the ten commandments the two tablets 
of stones but no Jesus came on the scene Jesus died for our sins and Luke want his friend Theophilus to understand that Moses gave commandments but after Jesus left on the scene Jesus left off the scene and Jesus now has given fresh commandments he have given commandments through the Holy Ghost to the apostles whom he have chosen so now you can listen the apostles Luke is saying, hey, the old covenant, we listen to Moses because God chose Moses to hand out commandments. But it's a new covenant. It's a new agreement. It's a new testament. And God have chosen the apostles and gave them commandments to give to us sit tight because they are chosen and now he shifts his argument to another level and he said that to whom he have showed himself alive after his passion oh my god you got to understand this about jesus everywhere he went he was doing good but every time jesus heal somebody deliver somebody the bible said that he moved with come come on the warriors man Come on, warriors, let's have some church a little bit. And so now the Bible, the writer said that Jesus showed himself that he's not dead. He's risen. Jesus showed himself that he's alive. And this is what drive him to do it. His passion and then the bible said by many infallible proof many unrebukable proof he showed himself that he is alive with many contradictory proof he showed himself undeniable proof he showed himself that he is alive then he says watch this being seen of them 40 days mm -hmm. Can we preach a little bit? Have some church, please. Now, watch this. Now, it's between his ascension and his, his resurrection and his ascension. So, it's 40 days between resurrection day and ascension day. 40 days Jesus was here and he was showing himself that he is alive he was showing himself that his God manifests in flesh he was showing himself that he is the Messiah he's showing himself that what they heard about in the law what they heard about him in the prophets what they heard about him in the Psalms is the truth let's talk a little bit now because watch this for 40 days he was showing himself that he's alive but watch this when we check the scripture jesus have never shown himself unto the pharisees he never showed himself unto the scribes he never showed himself unto those who don't believe in him shia basaya you better slap your neighbor say be careful now be careful there's some people that don't believe in you there's some people that don't accept you you don't need to try to show yourself 
yourself to them leave them alone and begin to pour out to people who believe in you for 40 days he was showing himself he didn't have any time oh shy. I feel something is about to shift come on warriors reach your neighbors and neighbor somebody slap because I'm going to go up at it I hear this you're going to go up against people in the church that don't believe in God they come to church but their action is a proof that they don't believe in the God that they are talking about who am I talking to Shia Bashaya. the Bible said three days after Jesus rose from the grave two men was walking on the street named Eminos and they were talking about Jesus and Jesus was right there while they were talking about him and Jesus walked up to them and said who are you talking about they were talking about Jesus of Nazareth and he was standing there and they didn't even identify that he was you know the amount of people in church that talk about Jesus that don't know Jesus and when Jesus show up in their midst they don't realize that Jesus Jesus hid himself from them and they were walking and talking they were talking about him and he said what are you talking about and he said who are you they said who are you you don't hear the argument full up in Jerusalem that there was a man he was a prophet and he was raising dead casting out devil working miracles oh shy Shanda you better slap your neighbor say neighbor you are in God want to reveal himself to you tell three people Jesus want to see some secret with you oh shy oh Shanda I feel like going into the next level can I go into the next level oh slap your neighbor see and say Jesus want to share some secret with you but some of you talk too much so God can't share his secret with you oh shy can I go in a little bit come on there are some things that God want to show you come on God want to show you some things he can't and will never show everybody there are some things that God wants to show you that you have got to because they are secrets who am I talking to come on slap a neighbor say not everything God show you you can share there are some things you got to hold it in your belly and watch it come to pass can I find 10 real Christians who I'm speaking to alright let me talk to you about this generation let me talk about the season and the time you are living in we are living in a generation that talk too much oh shire can I go in and die we are living in a generation that talks too much we go live too much we vlog too much we blog too much we post too much we post too much come on we instant message too much we, we we go live and status we status too much oh shy oh shanda and everything god is doing in your life you post too much the devil know everything about you and everything god revealed to you the devil know about it because you chat too much you post too much you go life too much 
church. Come on. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor, when you do that, you are casting your pearls before swines. And they're going to get up. And they're going to trample your secrets. They're going to trample your pearls. You talk too much. Who am I talking to? They're trampling right now. They're trampling. They're trampling. Your revelation, they're trampling. Oh, I feel something shifting again. I feel something shifting again. Paul said, I knew a man. Such a man, whether in the body or in the spirit, I cannot tell. God know it. He said, how oh, that man was caught up into paradise. He was caught into the third heaven and heard things which were not lawful for man to utter. Oh, shit. Paul said, I can't talk it. Paul said, I can't let you hear everything. Paul said, I can't let you know all the secrets. And, no, no, no. Where is the worshippers in here? Some of you chat too much. Some of you talk too much. Some of you reveal too much. And the devil is trampling. Oh, shit. Come on, Paul, acknowledge that there were secrets he couldn't say anything. There are secrets he could not reveal. Every child of God must understand this. That not everything good to eat. Where is the warriors? I come to speak to Holy Ghost Phil. Come on for the secret of the Lord. Is not for everybody. Who am I preaching to? Throw your head back, open your mouth. I know I'm speaking to somebody in here. There are some things God will take you through so that your faith can be firm. There are some things that God will allow to pull your faith to the next level. And you got to understand is God working in the secret place. Oh, Shanda, feel the power of God. God will allow you to be hungry. Oh, Shia. Oh, Jesus. Somebody I said, Bishop, boy, I'm in a new Bishop, Bishop, brother, I did I know Bishop now and cry. But you got to understand this. God already bring me through that secret place who am I talking to you know you know you know when you're a preacher when you don't have nothing but you have to preach faith yeah, you know you don't have nothing at all but you have to preach that God is a provider who am I talking to I mean when you don't have no light electricity cut off but you have to preach that God is my provider you don't wait until the battle is over and God will allow you to go through your pain so that you can preach power but you don't wait until power arrives you have to preach power until God show who am I talking to you better throw your head back open your mouth shout one more praise open your mouth and lift Jesus higher I wonder if there's somebody in here is somebody here tonight that I've been going through you're going through but you know that it is God that is taking you through and the God that put you in will take you out uh -huh. and somebody might see you're going through and wonder where your God is why you're going through that but the thing you are going through it is God who is raising you up can I talk to somebody in here somebody that is going to throw your head back don't wait until the battle is over 
I said, don't wait until the battle is over. For weeping may endure, but for a night, for joy. Where are the warriors in here? I said, but joy is coming in the morning. You've got to learn to hold it when the lion you hold it. When they persecute you, hold it. Don't let them know that you know, hold it. Who am I talking to? Hold it in your belly. You know how David says, he hold my mouth with a bit and a bridle. When I'm before my enemy, inside I'm in the fire abuse. The fire burn, my mouth muse, but I hold it. Where are the warriors? Throw your head back. I said, I'm holding it, Lord. I'm holding it, Lord. The race is not for the swift. Neither is the battle for the strong. He is revealing himself. Somebody said, 40 days. Shire. Yeah, Messiah. Forty days and your life turn around. Forty days and he will not be here in the flesh no more. But by the time the forty day come, you will be ready for the world. Where are the warriors in here? Now, remember. Remember now, three days before the 40 day begin, that when the priests and the temple police came and they arrest Jesus, remember that Peter said, I don't know him. Remember Peter said, I don't know who that man is. Leave me alone. Three days ago, every single apostle, like a flash, they ran and say, we are not a part of his group. We are not one of his disciples. We don't know the man. Shia. But 40 days, just 40 days. And the same boys that was running from the temple, that was running for their life, that hide from the priests and the Romans. Jesus showed himself after his passion. Jesus reveal himself that he's God that he's Lord that he's risen here is my hand here is my side he show I wonder if there's anybody in here that Jesus is showing you his side You better touch your neighbor said Jesus will allow your 40 day to come so that nobody can discourage you from what he calls you to do. Jesus will allow a bad situation to come in your life. So he can show himself. He can reveal his secret. Oh, Shia. When God gives me this word, he reminds me that when I came into church, I had a court case. And the court case was serious. Young lady, lion, me, I put gun at her head bring her in the room 
and rape her. And I, when I came into church, it was not like you who have no problem. I was looking right into prison. Where is the worshipers in here? And I asked God, why me? Why I have to go through this? And those are in the church and having everything going good. Oh, Shia Basa. But God wants to bear my faith. Because there is a destiny. And in order for me to fulfill my destiny, I must go through my 40 days. Shanda. Shayabasa. While everybody was enjoying church. God. Put me in a situation that only God can take me out. Oh, Sha, you better slap your neighbor. Say, neighbor, God will put you in a situation that only Him can take you out of it. So you got to seek Him until He's revealed in you. Where is the worshipers in here? Come on, you better slap your neighbor. Say, revelation comes true. Situations. Oh, sure. Feel the power of God. Feel the anointing. Come on, tell the neighbor. Revelation comes true. Situation. No situation. No revelation. And the heart of the battle. In other, in other words, the rough of the situation is the greater the revelation. Where is the worshippers, man? Where is the warriors, man? Where are the believers, man? It's kind of a little bit tight, too tight. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth, and said, I need a revelation. I need a revelation. Revelation is not for them on the outside. He didn't show himself. I said, he did not show himself. To none of his haters, he did not show himself to none of the Pharisees and scribes. Oh, Shia. But those who were called for purpose, God said, I got to show you. Look. Look! Look at the side. There is a wound. You see? You see? You can know those who God called. Because God called people with See, to, come on, man. If you don't have a problem, where are the warriors in here? Oh, Shia. I feel something about to shift again, you know. Because some of you come to church and you believe church is somewhere you come and just clap and sing and go back home. You don't know that you are standing in a miracle zone and God want to show up and show himself to be strong and mighty but God will never show himself to you if you don't want him oh Shia Shanda Yamasaya Shia Pasa my God, my, my, my God, somebody showed a revelation, a revelation, in other words, when a situation comes, in a child of God life, the child of God should be asking God, 
what you want to reveal to this situation lord jesus i need to go down a little lower because i know some people don't come i mean you're sick in the body there's a reason for your sickness god want to reveal something to you where is the warriors your broke days there's a reason why god allow you to be broke he wants to reveal something to you everybody around you turn against you and you wonder why people just hate you so Come on, man. Come on, I'm trying to take in it, Louis, man. Come on. Where is the worshippers in here? Why so much ditch in my road? Why so much net in my street? Why so much pit in my lane? Why? Oh, shit. You better slap somebody and tell them there's a reason for your situation. Come on, somebody. You remember that Lazarus was sick and somebody invite Jesus to come and lay his hand on the sick. But Jesus waited two days still. He didn't go to Lazarus because he didn't want to reveal to Lazarus that he's a healer. Lazarus knew already that he's a healer so Jesus would never show up as a healer to him Jesus wanted Lazarus Mary Martha and the disciples to know that he's the resurrection and he is the life you will find that no place else in the New Testament you will not find that in the book of Matthew Mark nor Luke but when you look in the book of John you will see Jesus show up as the resurrection and the life how can he show up as the resurrection if nobody die he needs somebody to die so that he can reveal resurrection power where is the warriors in here man where is the worshippers in here man you better drag your neighbor as a neighbor God wants to show himself to you he wants to show himself to you 40 days 40 days 40 days my God can I run on the 40 I feel a 40 in this house I feel a 40 in this house I feel a 40 in this house because the Bible says that it repented God it repented God that he made man and put them on the earth who am I talking to who am I talking to and God I'm gonna wipe man from the face of the earth and the Bible says that God speak to Noah God find, find found favor in Noah and tell Noah to build him an ark and when Noah finished building the ark rain begin to fall the Bible says that the rain fall for 40 days but watch what God was doing God want to deliver Noah out of the midst of the wicked people he wants to deliver Noah from the wicked and evil people and God I'm going to use 40 days of rain you see that thing that the man was in Shia that thing that he was in while the rain is falling the Bible said the ark was going up and the wicked people were still down that which was a situation now begin to bring a revelation it separated Noah from the rest oh shy it reveals that God is the one that is with Noah 40 days before the rain stopped but by the time the rain abates there was a shift in Noah's eyes. Noah now begin to realize that anything God say must come to pass. 
Oh, you better reach your neighbor. Say, when God visit you in the secret time, in the secret place, and tell you something. Oh, Shia Basa. Don't worry by the time the 40 days is over. There will be a shift in the dynamics. Who am I talking to? Where are the warriors in here? Where are Moses? Come here, Moses. For Moses went up on the Mount of Sinai and locked in with God for 40 days. By the time the 40 day is done, Moses is now above everybody in his time. When he's coming down, his face begin to glow. Shia Basaya. Oh, Shia, you better touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, 40 days and a shift take place. Who am I preaching to? Who am I preaching to? Who am I preaching to? Oh, touch two people, tell them 40 days and a shift is about to take place in your dynamics in your life the dynamics will shift where are the believers in here i feel something shifting where is elijah can we call elijah over here can we call elijah over here the bible said that elijah slew all the false prophets and all the false priests and jezebel release a death sentence jezebel send out a death sentence jezebel said tomorrow this time you shall die but how many know the devil can't kill who God announced to live I feel a shift in the atmosphere again somebody open your mouth Jezebel Jezebel release a death sentence Shia. but slap your neighbor say fear not when Jezebel released that death sentence no fear when they talk and say you're not going to come to nothing no fear when they talk and say you're going to die no fear when they talk and say the church are going to mash up no fear bishop when they talk and talk about god they're going to pull you down no fear when they talk and speak evil about you don't fear shia basaya let them prophecy go on out and watch god jezebel send a message to elijah that tomorrow this time you shall die you want to know tomorrow this time what elijah do sleep oh sha shia somebody said the devil is a liar the devil is a liar put a hand on your belly so no weapon that is farm against me your hitman can't kill me your other man can't kill me your gunman can't kill me your policeman can't kill me your soldier man can't kill me your blood and fire somebody open your mouth and shout another praise shout a glory shout a glory hallelujah open your mouth and praise god in here 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 hear him now hear him now hear the old wicked demon spirit your jezebel your unclean spirit say tomorrow this time you shall surely die oh shanda but the man was under the juniper tree and the man lay down what was taking place the man asleep what the man do the man slap your neighbor said go on your bed go sleep no care no listen to it and say go on your bed go sleep Shire. the devil can't kill you before your time go on your bed have a good night's sleep for your god never slumber no sleep while you are sleeping he's watching over you the next day the day when jezebel said that elijah is gonna die 
God call over high ranking angel. Angel go cook him a meal. Where is the worshippers? Where is the warriors? Where is the warriors? Slap somebody, tell them angelic visitation. And give me presidential style. Oh, Shanda. Some as a presidential status. Your servants is no ordinary folk. Angels shall serve you. Lie down and sleep and watch food come on your foot. Oh, Shia. Oh, Shanda. Oh, Shia. Let them pass them trick. Let them check you and they want to check you. Mm. Somebody throw your head back. Open your mouth. And say let them train you if they want to train you. But the word of God is rich over your life. No weapon. That is for against me. Shall prosper. Every time. Open your mouth and it's too flat. Up your mouth and give God one more place. Up your mouth and show one more glory. Show glory, hallelujah. Show glory, thank you, Jesus. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Shia. Shanda. Shia Messiah. Somebody throw your head back. Open your mouth. Send one more praise up. Shout one more glory. Shout one more glory. Fret not thyself. My God, where are the warriors in here, man? Where are the worshippers in here, man? Show your head back and prophesy. Show your head back and prophesy. Show your head back and prophesy. Shout a praise in here. Shout a glory in here. Somebody said, fret not thyself because of evil to us. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquities. For they shall soon be cut off like the grass. They shall wither as the green herb. Somebody open your mouth. Show your head back. Declare it in this house. Trust in the Lord. Come on, warriors, and do good, and verily. Where is the worshippers, man? Show your head back, man. Speak over your own life, the man. Declare it in this house. Declare it in this house. Somebody said, trust in the Lord, and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily, thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself. In the Lord, up your mouth, man. Give him a praise, man. Up your mouth, shout a glory. Somebody say glory, hallelujah. Somebody say glory, thank you, Jesus. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Fear none. Fear none of them. For God has not given you the spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Somebody throw your head back. Let them send them threat. Let them send them threat. God said to tell you, fear not. We are all the warriors. It's kind of tight. We're looking too flat. I said, a little bit too flat. Open your mouth. Shout again. Open your mouth. Shout again. Shout one more praise. Shout one more praise. God said, I will go before thee. God said, I will go before thee. And make the cooking place straight. And I will break in pieces the gates of brass 
and I will cut in sunder the bars of iron and I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret place that thou mayest know that I am the Lord which call thee by your name please reach your neighbor shake the hand like you want to shake it off God says Go in the strength of this food. Oh, shine. I mean, 40 days. The man I go walk for 40 days. And just one meal is going to sustain him. Drop your neighbor, say, neighbor. God said to tell you, this word is the bread. Oh, shine. Eat the word, Eat the word, eat the word, eat the word, the bread from heaven. Oh, shut. Oh, shut. The bread is the revelation. The shoe bread, the shoe bread represent the revelation, it represent the secret, it represent God's secret to them that are not on the outside only they that are on the inside can eat this bread can know the secret oh sha the devil can't kill you when God say live shake that hand like you want to shake it off and say the devil can't kill you when God say live somebody release it over your neighbor right now until they feel it. I know the devil has threatened some of you. I know the devil has tried to put fear upon some of you. I know the devil has whispered in your ears. But God said to tell you, live. Up your mouth and declare it, man. Up your mouth and declare it. Say something. Say something. Say something. Somebody say live. Somebody say live. You shall not die before your time. I don't care what the doctor tell you. I don't care what the doctor tell you. I don't care what the doctor tell you. I don't care what the nurse tell you. I don't care what Jezebel tell you. I don't care what the murmurer tell you. I don't care what the evil man tell you. When God said live, open your mouth and declare it. Somebody say live. I said, prophesy and somebody said, live. You shall not die, but you shall live and declare the works of God. Somebody say something. Somebody open your mouth and praise him. Up your mouth and lift him higher. Up your mouth and praise the name. The name of the Lord is a strong and mighty tower. The righteous run it into it and they are safe. Somebody say, I'm safe and secure. I'm safe in the arms of Jesus Christ. No car crash. No heart attack. No high blood pressure. No diabetes. Can't kill you before your time. Where are the warriors? Throw your head back. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. I say, open your mouth. Oh, shut. Oh, shut. Oh, shut. Oh, shut. Oh, shut. Oh, now, remember, the message is the secret of the Lord. Is with them that fear him. Yeah, and can I tell you something? You know that the Lord they tell me say my brother I got dead. You know that? We can't talk now, kind dead. Where is the worshippers? Yes, sir. Let me tell you, say, put on your clo- your jacket suit. I'm tell you, put on your jacket suit. I'm tell you, put on your jacket suit. And I find them the time they me cry, me go home go cry. Me cry and drink my tears already. Where is the worshippers? You coming with me? You know say. The Lord tell me about you already. 
Remember me tell you how close it is. I said, no, nobody for somebody close. I remember me tell you, say, God said, you mean not to go to England because somebody I got dead. Where is the worshippers? So, me couldn't go to England until that take place. Where is the worshippers in here? I don't like it. And I can't talk a secret. Because God whispered something in my ears and give me comfort. And that comfort me. Where is the worshippers? Where is the warriors? Up me out and give God a high praise in here, man. Give God a high praise in here. Shout at God. My God. Shire. Somebody say echo blood and fire. Echo blood and fire. My God. You see that? Somebody say something. Up me out and shabbat at the king. Up me out and shabbat at the king. Up me out and yada. Open your mouth and lift him higher. You want something more? Monday earthquake. No Monday gone on the earthquake. And Sunday, I whisper about earthquake, and some of you don't get it. When they hear me attack Sunday about earthquake, God show me. When they hear me preach Elijah, oh, sure. And that God bring him before the mountain. And God showed me earthquake. And God showed me fire. And God showed me hurricane. Oh, Shia. Jamaica is due for an earthquake. Um, Jamaica is due for a hurricane. And some major building in Jamaica got burned down. Oh, Shia, Basa. But, but, the prayer of the saints. Oh, shy. You don't, you don't believe me? Go read Genesis 18 and you'll know that the stench of Sodom and Gomorrah went up before Jehovah God and he sent two angels and said, come on, let's walk go down to Sodom. Go see what go on down there because the stench is really nasty. Let's go down and, 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 and go see what's going on down there. You're coming with me, warriors. And when... And when Jehovah said, let's go down there. He said, I can't go down there like that. Because God says, I give somebody the key. Oh, Shia. Where are the managers in here? Are the supervisors in here? If I own a business and I give you the key, come here. Run, come. If I own a building, business, and I put you in charge... And I give you the key. And me, I go come in at the place. I you me get authority over the place. Shia Basaya. I'm going to come to you first. Somebody say, it is written. God shall do nothing in the earth. Where is the worshippers in here? Except he first reveal it. To his servants, the prophets. We are all the worshippers in here. Say something. So, he visit Abraham, his friend. And reveal something that is deep. Because he said, I, I am here because of what's going on in Sodom. Judgment is about to release over there. But I got to check the place out. And to see what's happening, Abraham said, so daddy... When you go down there, if you see the righteous down there, will you destroy? Oh, shy. Would you destroy the righteous with the... You know, you know God just whispered something in my ears. Huh? You want it? You sure? You know that? My mommy come from New York and come to Jamaica. And you know when my mother did? My mother died when I am in Kingston. She died in West Milan. You know, our brother Chris, when I was in Kingston, the devil killed Brother Chris down here. And the devil would have like killed my brother. But him have to wait until. Yes, 
secret of the Lord is with them that somebody wave your hands. Abraham, I will not destroy the righteous with the unrighteous. Abraham said, if you find 50, would you destroy Sodom? And no, I won't. If you find 45, will you? No, I won't. If you find 30, would you? No, I won't. If you find 20, will you? No. Can you just give? Please don't be angry. Can I ask you once more? If I find, if you find 10, will you destroy? God says no. And when they went down there, there was only one righteous in Sodom. One was not enough to turn Sodom around. Shayabasa. God is calling for his people to come up. I don't know about you, but I'm going out there. Because Jamaica is due for an earthquake that is so big that it hit a tsunami. Oh, Shia. And thousands and thousands of body floating. But if the righteous stand up in prayer and intercede for this little island, when the hurricane eye is coming head on, the prayer of the righteous. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of flat, too tight. Throw your head back and say something. It's kind of a little bit too tight. Somebody throw your head. Oh, Shia, you see that? Somebody throw your head back and show the one more praise. Show the one more glory. Shout a glory, hallelujah. Shout a glory, thank you, Jesus. Somebody throw your head back and shout a glory, hallelujah. Somebody shout one more praise, the man. Shout one more glory in here. Shout one more. One more. One more. Is there anybody in here? He's saying, Lord, reveal. Come on, is there anybody in here? He's saying, Lord, reveal. Reveal your secrets. Reveal your secrets. Pull me in revelation. Pull me in revelation. Pull me in relationship. I want to know you. Come on, warriors. Where are the real Christians in here? That want God to, God to pull them in. If you want Holy Ghost, pull you in. So Holy Ghost, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself to me. I don't want to be like those two disciples that was on the road of Emmaus. My God, Jesus was there walking with them. They were talking about him and didn't even realize that Jesus was right there beside them. Where is the worshipers? Where is the warriors that want a revelation? A revelation of who he is. He asked the question. Who do men say I the son of man am? And the question turned around. Who do you say I the son of man am? Some say you are Elijah. You are John the Baptist. You are Jeremiah. Are one of the prophets. But the question is tonight. Who do you? Who do you? Who do you? Who do you? Say I the son of man am. Somebody open your mouth. Mm -mm. Somebody open your mouth. Somebody open your mouth. The answer came from Peter. Somebody said the answer came from Peter. The one the Christ. The one the Christ. Son of the living God. What Jesus said, what Jesus said, what Jesus says, what, 
what Jesus says what Jesus says flesh and blood flesh and blood flesh and blood flesh and blood have not revealed somebody said I need revelation I need revelation I need revelation Shia Basaya revelation make you powerful revelation make you unstoppable revelation equip you revelation empower you somebody say revelation revelation flesh and blood flesh and blood flesh and blood flesh and blood i heard john say you need that that any man teach you but the same anointing I mean the same anointing that you receive he will teach you all things and whatsoever he teach you is truth and no lie and even as he taught you you must abide in him somebody's a need the unction to function it's kind of flat. It's kind of flat. Throw your head back, say Holy Ghost. I need your unction so that I can function. I want to walk by revelation. I want to talk by revelation. I want to preach by revelation. I want to prophesy by revelation. I want to lay my hands. Somebody open your mouth, shout again, open your mouth, shout one more praise. Bring me that baby, put that baby in my hand. Shia, Shia Basa. Shia. I prophesied to you about this baby. I give you a baby name. What did I say? You told me that I was going to be having a boy. Praise God. Shia Basaya. Somebody open your mouth and shout again. I place this baby in the hand of the Lord. I bless this child. And I ask the Lord to cover him. Give his angels charge concerning him. He shall be a powerful man of God. A prophet of God. Shire. God shall raise him up and use him as a mighty oracle. His name is Malachi. Somebody clap your hands and praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where are the warriors in here? Where is the usher? Sister Johnson, where is Sister Johnson? Run, come here, Sister Johnson. Let me tell you some things. Sometimes you see me call out somebody and tell them the gender and tell them the name of the baby. It's not every time I do that with a mic. Your daughter will tell you that she walk up before me and I told her I see a girl baby. I don't even remember tell her the name. No, but you tell her, she said, um, you knew that she didn't want you to reveal it in the public. So when she came up there, you said to her, you, you find out that is a girl because it was a Saturday. She find out that's a girl baby. Oh, so praise she, God. She know that... She, you know she wouldn't want it to be revealed because we use, um, we're going to use the baby gender reveal to reveal it and we didn't want her to know. Wow, wow. And I didn't know that. That was just the Holy Ghost at work. Where is the worshiper? Say something in here. Up your mouth and give God one more praise in here. Shia. Take my rock. Ah, Shia, Basa. And bring it. Put it on the baby. No weapon form against her shall prosper. Where are the warriors in here? Where are the worshippers in here? Where are the believers in here? 
I see something tonight I've never seen before. Ah. Never seen this. This is what I always realize. Whenever somebody's under demonic attack, most 99% of the time, the demons don't come into church with the, with the person. The demons stay outside. But while I was preaching, I don't know if it's when I get in the Holy Ghost and I move. I saw a demon standing beside you. And I said, what? And the demon was speaking to you. Shaya Basaya. Bring her to me. Come. Shaya Basaya. Look in my eyes. Because tonight you are completely delivered. Look in my eyes. Now, sometimes you hear like somebody calling your name. Huh? Yes. Well, while you, st you were there, I saw that demon standing beside you. And the demon said, Carmen, Carmen, Carmen. Where is the warriors in here? 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 Shaya Basa. Somebody say something in here. Somebody say something in here. Somebody say something in here. No. No. That demon that is always talking to you. Huh? That's my name. That's your name. Huh? That's my pet name. Shaya Basaya. Where are the warriors in here, man? Where are the worshippers in here? Where are the warriors in here? You better get radical in here. You better get radical in here. Pick her up. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa, Papa, son. Shia, Messiah. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa, Messiah. Shanda, yeah, mama, si, shandi kurusi, randi kunda basi, randa babasi, shaya, mama masaya, yeah, papa basa, shanda be healed, be completely delivered now. That's it. Run me a mouth and say something. Run me a mouth and say something. Run me a mouth and say something. Run me a mouth and shout a praise. Be here. Be here. Be here. Now. That's it. That's it. Shut up. Yeah, mama. Shut up. Yeah, papa, papa. Shut up. My God. Mama, mama, sa, shaya basa, ya mama, sa. Somebody better say something. Somebody better open your mouth in here. You better open your mouth in here. Shabbat the king, ya daddy king. Open your mouth. Give God one more praise. Give God. One more praise. Shout another praise. Shout. 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 You are the one that bring the envelope to me tonight. I cover you under the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Son, there's a calling on your life. A mighty calling to preach the gospel. I cover you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody open your mouth and shout a praise. Somebody help him. 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 Shanda Basa. Yama Messiah. Send him a firing. Send him a firing. 
Send him a foreign. Send him a foreign. Send him a foreign. Slap the ten here in the book. Slap the ten here in the book. Somebody open your mouth and shout again. Open your mouth and shout one more praise. Open your mouth and shout one more glory. Shout a glory. Hallelujah. Where are the warriors in here, man? Where are the praisers? It's your mother that sent it to me. Hallelujah. Send this book, send this rug to your mother. Tell our God, said deliverance. Where is the warriors? Where is the worshippers? Pick her up. Somebody say something, man. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Open your mouth and yada the king. Open your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Somebody lift Jesus. Spit it out, man. Release out everything. Somebody open your mouth. Deliverance. Somebody said deliverance is yours tonight. Somebody said deliverance is yours tonight. Shia. Stretch your hands towards her. Stretch your hands towards her. After three, you're going to shout the name of Jesus Christ. Come here, young preacher. After three, stand up here. Here's some of them now. If them not come, uh, do this. Nothing can go on. Tell them that bishop no need them. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Because number one, the word is quick, sharp, powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword. So Bishop, no really need none of you. So don't get hype. Where is the worshippers in here? Up your mouth. Don't look at me like that. You're in church. I'm trying to help you. Where is the believers in here? Up your mouth and give God a high praise in here. Give the Lord a high praise in here. So, if God, I pull you in, just humble yourself. Because God can use a lookless daughter. God can use a lookless baby sister and the greater than what you are do. Where is the worshiper? Say something there, man. Where is the warrior? Say something in here. So, so don't act like you are so powerful. One try it once. That's why I'm trying to help somebody now. One try it once. And outside talking about if him not come in, if we not come in, and we don't come and chop. Nothing can go on. Because they're not really bishop are we. And you know what happened? In command chap. I end up in a hospital. When they reach in a hospital. Doctor say need. How much pint of blood. When they look at them fingers. Them yellow. Eyes yellow. Him not have no blood. Can I tell you why he have no blood? Because he wants to use for him blood. And he man suck out that. So reach your neighbor and say, only the blood of Jesus can push back hell. It's not by might. It's not by power. It is by my spirit. Say the Lord of house. Somebody open your mouth and shout. Just let this rug be in his presence and God will fix it. Where is the worshippers? Where is the warriors? And this one is yours. Use this one. And anoint your body and be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say something. It's not by might, not by power. It's by my spirit, says the Lord. Stretch your hands towards her now. 
After three, we're going to shout Shayabasa, the name of Jesus over her and command that demon to go to a far country and never to come back and whisper in your ear. Never to come back and talk to you. Where is the worshipers? Believers, are you here? Hallelujah. Warriors, are you here? Warriors, are you here? Hallelujah. Worshippers, are you here? Glory. Believers, are you here? Hallelujah, Jesus. After three, just show Jesus. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Silver and gold. One, two, three. Have I none? One, two, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, tonight I sever you from that unclean spirit. It shall have no more dominion over you. I send him to a far country, never to return, not tomorrow, not next week, but right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, shout again. Shout again! Shout again! Shout again! Shout a glory! Shout a glory! Hallelujah! Shout a glory! Thank you, Jesus! Shia! Go home, I'm gonna anoint your wife's head from her head down to her foot. In Jesus' name, where is the worship? I say something. Where are the warriors? Say something. Where are the believers? Say something. Where are the believers? Say something. Somebody open your mouth and shout out the king. Yada the king. When the praises goes up, deliverance will come down. Shia. Father, please. Let your efficacious blood be in this water. H two O. Where are the warriors in here? Shanda. Haya basa. Shanda basaya. Break the seal. Haya basa. Jesus was wounded for you. Shia. When I was around there, I feel my left eye like grains in it. And I said, Lord, who is it? Who is it? And my eye pays on you. God tell me to tell you, he still works miracles. Jesus said to tell you, if there's no situation, there will be no revelation. When we look in heaven, the Bible said, Isaiah said, in the year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord. In the year that King Uzziah died, it was the death of Uzziah that gave Isaiah the revelation. Shia, no situation, no revelation. The death of his king shake him up. And God revealed himself. And he said he saw for the first time. We know that there are angels that are called seraphim. Now that death revealed to mankind that there are angels. That carry more than two wings. Two to cover their face. They humble themselves. Hide themselves from the glory. When they are in the presence of God. They cover their glory. Two wings cover their feet. But Isaiah said this. Isaiah said they shout. Holy. Holy. Why didn't the angel say, Savior, Savior, Savior? Why didn't the angel say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah? Why didn't the angel say, Redeemer, Redeemer, Redeemer? 
Because God don't reveal himself as a redeemer to his angels. The seraphims don't know him as a savior. And the, the seraphims can't shout hallelujah. He revealed himself to the angels as holy. So they worship him as holy. How do you worship him? What revelation? What is your revelation? Who he revealed he revealed himself himself as to you. Shia. If you were sick and he healed you, you can say healer. 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 If you were bound and he set you free, you can say deliverer. Deliverer. Del if you were in sin and need a redeemer, you can worship him as savior, redeemer, redeemer. Who is he to you tonight? Shia. Ayah, ba, ba, ba. So 40 days, he revealed himself. Until they were so empowered that even when they beat them and said, don't call on that name, the same boys that were running for their life went right back into the temple and say to those who threatened to kill them that we rather to obey God than man because Jesus revealed himself with many infallible proof. We are the believers in here that say, I'm sure that God can fix your situation tonight. Where are those who are sure that God is the healer? He was wounded for our transgression. I feel somebody there. You better open your mouth and shift the dynamics in here. Shia. Turn around, son. Turn around. Jesus said to tell you, he was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace was upon him. And with his stripes, you were healed from 2,000 years ago. He shed his blood for your healing tonight. And if you ever believe tonight, you shall have a testimony. Shia Basaya. If you believe tonight, he's going to use it to preach the word of God. Shia Basaya. No more fornication, adultery. No more. Steadfast. Unmovable. Stay focused. Fast. Pray. Worship. God said, I want to raise you up. God say I want to do a mighty work in you. God say I want to use you in this last and closing days. Get ready for what God wants to do in you. Stretch your hands towards him, warriors. Believers, stretch your hands towards him. Shy Abasa, drink. Take your healing, son. Take your healing, son. Take your healing, son. Take your healing, son. Silver and gold have I not. But such as I have, give I be. In the open your eyes now. Hold your head back. Open your eyes. Be healed now by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Be healed now by the power of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody help him. 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 Silver gold by none, but such as I have to buy thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command your body to be healed. Shia, Shanda, 
Shaya Basaya Shaya Basaya Yama Masa He's doing it for you I said the Lord is doing it right now Shaya Basa Somebody help out That's it Shaya Basa Yama Papa Basa Somebody say something Healing Healing Is the children's bread Somebody open your mouth and declare it Healing it's not for everybody, is it? It's the children's bread. Somebody open your mouth and say, Healing is the children's bread. In other words, there's some healing that is not for everybody. There's some, some healing that's reserved for the body of Christ when you eat of his flesh. Oh, Shia. He shall unveil himself in you. He shall form himself in you, hands I. Shia, walk with me, son. Shanda. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. The Lord is doing it for you. The Lord is opening the door for you. The Lord is fighting your battle for you. Shaya Basa. Yama Masaya. Right now. Right now. He's Somebody help her. Somebody help her. Somebody help her. God is fighting for you right now. He's healing you now. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Somebody shall be healed. By the power of Jesus blood be healed. Right now be healed. Shaya. Shanda. Right now the Holy Ghost is breaking a curse a witchcraft attack the holy ghost is destroying it now Shaya. somebody help her somebody help her that's it somebody help her somebody push by the attack somebody push by the attack somebody push by the attack now Shaya basa. Yeah, Touch two people and tell them God can take you from where you are to anywhere he chooses in 24 hours. Come on, tell somebody God can take you from where you are to anywhere he chooses in 24 hours. Just like that. I'm speaking to somebody just like that. 24 hours. Somebody said 24 hours. A 24 hour miracle is about to hit somebody just like that. Somebody said, Just like that. 24 hours. Somebody said, 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah! Somebody open your mouth at 24 hours. 24 hours. 24 hours. 24 hours. 24 hours. 24 hours. Right now he's doing it. Shaya Basa. Yama Masaya. Shaya Basha, my God, a mighty calling, a mighty calling, a mighty calling, a, ma a mighty calling, a mighty calling. God shall raise you up. God shall raise you up to do a mighty work. Somebody say, mighty, 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 mighty. Somebody help her. Somebody help her. Help her. Help her. Somebody help her. Somebody say, mighty works. Mighty works. Mighty works. Shanda Basaya. Somebody say, mighty work. Mighty work. Mighty work. Yeah. On the amount of praise God in here. On the amount of lift Jesus high. On the amount of celebrate him. Up your mouth and celebrate it. Up your mouth and live Jesus high. Somebody live Jesus high. 
Turn to four people. Turn to four people and tell them the secret, the secret of the Lord, of the Lord is, with is with them that fear him. That fear him. Clap your hands and praise him. Clap your hands and praise him. Don't tell everybody your secret. Clap your hands and praise God. Don't tweet too much. Don't talk too much. Don't blog and vlog too much. Just keep it in your belly. Mary Hallelujah. kept the same in her belly and watch God bring it to pass God said you're going to be an evangelist keep it don't go on Facebook oh shia God will give you an opening and show you where he's going to take you keep it in your belly and watch it come to pass clap your hands and praise God in here clap your hands and magnify the most high God in here Clap your hands and lift Jesus higher in here. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory. Glory. 